A spare a dollar for something to eat? Listen, if you want money, you gotta earn it. Well, God bless you, sir, and have a nice day. Shut up. Uh, sir, I'm really hungry. Could you kindly spare just a few? Sure. There you go. What, ten dollars? Are you serious? <laughs> Thank you. I can actually get a hot meal for once. Think nothing of it, just have a nice day. You too. Hello, Sarah? Yeah, glad you called back. Um, I need you to write down these instructions for your disease. Sorry, that took longer than I expected, but but I think you got it, right? All right, yeah, bye, Sarah. Bye-bye. Marcy, how's it shaking? Oh, you know, another slow day at the office. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, maybe this will shake things up a little, huh? Oh. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. Well, you know me. I hate to eat alone. <laughs> Frank's not doing so hot lately. Yeah, I see that. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? Uh, it's you. Hey, thanks for the kind gift. It's nothing. Call me Timothy. It's been a long time since a man like you wanted to shake my hand. I'm Pete. Pete, I had a question. Mm -hmm. Why did you give away the food you bought? I mean, you have so little and you're clearly hungry. You're done right, I'm hungry, but... All these folks are hungry. Uh, I can't enjoy my meal if somebody around me is starving, you know? It's just, it's not right. Well, that makes a lot of sense, Pete. Too bad more people don't think the way you do. <laughs> but what I still don't understand is how, how do you provide for yourself? Well, the way I see it is that if I help others, then it uh, has to come back on me somehow. You know, it's like uh, the universe, it's, I don't know. I just somehow I just managed to get by. Pete, you've made my day a lot brighter. Look, this is the least I can do. Here. Make sure you get some tea. All right? No, 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 Timothy, you, you don't have to do that. No, I don't have to. Pete, I want to. Okay. See you, Pete. Is everything all right, sweetheart? Yeah, just thinking about something that happened today. Well, what's troubling you? You know, why would somebody who has absolutely nothing help others while people with so much do absolutely nothing? People with nothing know how hard life can be, and they don't like to see others suffer, even if it means they have to go without. Yeah, but it just all feels so unfair. Where's this all coming from? It's this man I met today, the homeless guy. He, he has absolutely nothing, yet he gave away the only food he had. I mean, he went hungry so that his friends could eat. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Well, it makes a lot of sense to me. What do you mean? I never told you this before, but... Um, 
Never told me what, Mom. Well, many years ago, when you were a baby, I found myself in need. In fact, at one point, things got so bad that we were living on the streets. What? Mom, why didn't you say something before? Oh, I don't know, but uh, I will never forget that day. I was pregnant with you, and then your father came home and told me he had a change of heart. He didn't want to be a father anymore. Then he demanded that I do the unthinkable. No, no, but I would never do that. Even though I had never seen your face, I knew that I loved you and I would do anything for you. So your father left us with nothing and then I lost my job and the apartment soon after. The only way I was able to make it was with the help of others. And it wasn't some rich person who made the difference either. It was another homeless person. A kind man who was there for me when I needed someone the most. I had no idea. And I was eventually able to get back on my feet. And I can say that I was able to get by with a little help from a friend. You know I get it now. Do you? Then why are you still not eating your food? I think I lost my appetite. But for a good reason. Hey Pete, isn't that your friend? Hey Pete, how's it going? Uh, you know, nothing I love more than a warm day in the park. Yeah, well, I think it would be a bit nicer with uh, some tea. Ha, oh, Tim, you didn't need to do that. From you, help yourself, there's more than enough. Wow, thank you. Oh, my mom is bringing some fresh baked bread. Mom, you got it? Yes, and I've got some whipped butter in there too, and... Wait! It's you! Helen? Wait, you know my mother? I can hardly believe it myself, but... Your mother and I go way back. We sure do. Timothy, this is the person I was telling you about. The kind, sweet man who helped me when I was on the streets. I don't know what we would have done without you. We probably wouldn't even be here today. I owe you everything. Oh, Helen, you don't owe me anything. Look, I was only doing what anyone would do. Help someone who needs a hand. And I'm just so happy that you and your boy turned out so great. Pete, please let us make this up to you. But Mom and I have done well for ourselves. Our family business has done very well. Let us help you. No, 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 I don't want no handout like that. It doesn't have to be a handout. Why don't you come work for us? You're just the kind of person we need. Do it, Pete. You'll do great. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Why don't you spend the night at our place? We have so many extra rooms. Then tomorrow, we can discuss what the future will hold. Actually, both of you. Yeah, after all, when you help people, it has a way of coming back to you. Doesn't it, Pete? Yeah. Loved our video? Click here to watch the next one. If you enjoy our content, hit the subscribe button and join us on our journey to 500,000 subscribers. Also, don't forget to tell us what you thought of the video by commenting below.